Today I'm building a Bloxburg house, but every room is a different colour. So I've done a few building houses, but every room is a different something videos. But the reason I picked colour today is because of the new colour wheel. As you can see, there is now so many shades for each different colour. So hopefully we can actually make the rooms look kind of nice. Behind me is the outline of the house that we're going to be using. But yeah, with all that said, let's jump in. So here are all the rooms that we're going to do. We have five downstairs and four upstairs, but some of them are just like corridors. So I think the first room we're going to do is the kitchen. And how we are going to be picking the colours is using this Wheel of Fortune. So let's just spin it to see what the kitchen is going to be. Green! So over here is where the kitchen is going to be. And I can't believe it's green. And if it wasn't obvious, the style that I'm going to go for for this house is modern. But yeah, let's start off by placing down a few counters and a little oven as well. And actually, we should probably colour the walls. So I have a feeling like going for maybe a mint green vibe. We can try and make it a really aesthetic green. Anyway, let's also colour the counters. And do you think we're allowed to have like like accents of white. I think if everything was green, it would just look really weird. And do you know what, guys? I think so far this is looking good. <gasps> now, technically, we could leave grass as the floor because it's green, but we're obviously not doing that. I'm thinking we do a checkered floor. Okay, so next is cabinets. We'll have some there with an island hood because I'm not dropping my style, even though we're doing a challenge. And I'm thinking maybe we ditch this window and this is where our fridge and another oven can go. And then we'll match it all green. Oh my gosh, it's so weird. It just looks like a bogey or something, the green room. But yeah, this room here is going to be the main dining room, but I think there's still space, like a mini breakfast bar or something over here. And then stools, since it's a modern house, we might as well do some of these classical ones. And I think if we mix in textures, it can help to make the greens look a little bit nicer. Then I've opened up one of these cabinets. So I think it'll be fun to put like a bunch of different colored bowls and stuff. So we could start off with a really dark green and then gradually get lighter and lighter. We are going to never run out of bowls in this house. But yeah, let's decorate this little island bit next so we can have some fruit. Maybe we can even have like a fancy coffee machine over on this bit and then just some other bits and bobs like some spices if you like our spicy food actually i hate spicy food so exposed let me just put some more appliances quickly this just looks like when you first join Bloxburg and try and build a house and your favorite color is green that is literally what this is giving and now it's time to add the light so i'm thinking maybe a large circular ceiling light if we make this green this looks like a science lab and then we'll finish the room off with the most green things i know some plants but next we have the dining room so let's go and see what color that is gonna be and it looks like it's gonna be red which again is quite like a bold in your face color so we'll obviously start with the floor and i normally would use wooden planks so let's see do red planks look good you know what that looks like it just looks like when you hold delete over something anyway we'll then have like this wooden texture for the walls i'm gonna steal this carpet from next door and we'll make it red and a little bit bigger i think this room is too big for a tiny square one so we'll use a big modern one and i normally like to use two in one just to make it a tiny bit bigger and then we could add these as the chairs but I always do that but I think we should go classic with just these stylish ones and as you can see we just get an eight seater rather than a six seater and oh my gosh we need to add some wall trims and there is literally not any type of aesthetic red like coming to think of it I, I use greens in my builds but I don't think I ever actually use red now we should probably color the dining table <laughs> I thought this would at least look a bit better but you know and yeah what else can we put in this room oh yeah fireplace and I'm even gonna make the fire red. That looks so scary. Anyway, I also like to put some dresses down. So on this, I'm gonna put some table lamps and some fruit. And then if you guys know me, I love plants. So we can have some of them. <laughs> what have I just done? I just painted them red and that, that is too crazy. Okay, I'll paint the thing red, but the actual lighting can't be. I think that is the dining room done. So next we have the hallway and I'm really hoping I get white for this. But it looks like we're getting orange. So this orange actually applies for this downstairs hallway and the upstairs hallway. We'll start with the downstairs one. And orange is actually quite a nice colour. And there's not really that many oranges in Bloxburg, is there? Good thing for the colour wheel. So this can basically just look like a dark brown, can't it? I'm actually not hating this orange room yet. And maybe we could make use of these to detail the walls a bit more. Like, I know this is very out there and bold, but does that look good? And this challenge is quite annoying for me because I'm someone who loves copy and pasting items. But obviously, I have to change the colour of it every time now. But we're going to add a bench in here. And my favourite is the modern hairpin bench. And I'll just add the other essentials. And this mirror is kind of orange in itself. So I'm going to leave that as the default. And do you know what? I'm realising orange is basically gold. But we've got to be careful not to like move across to yellow too much. And doesn't this just look like an insane person would live here? Well, apparently I'm insane. Yes, I think this is good. Oh my gosh. This looks like the sun or something. But we also have to do the upstairs.
there's one orange as well. However, one thing I am going to do differently is I'm going to add some of these inverted wedgies just to cover up this annoying thing here. So if we make it like too wide, then we can have one of like those attic looking ceilings. And I actually love the vibes that these inverted roofs give. And now we actually need to decide what door we're going to use. So despite it looking like a fun house, we are going to have to use modern doors because that is the style. And for now, I'll put them as orange, but we'll eventually change them to whatever color these rooms turn out to be. Then next we could do with some railings along here. And I'm going to make another one of these little tables and just have a couple of these around. And I always like to put a thin carpet in my hallways, quite a long one. And yes, for this hallway up here, I think that's good. So now we are moving on to another downstairs room, the living room, which is actually the biggest one. So the color that we're going to be using for this is purple. I was not expecting purple. I don't know why. I keep just praying for white. I feel like the white room is going to look the best. And to switch things up, I'm going to use this really like unique looking tile. Because really that doesn't actually look bad. So I want a very light shade of purple for the floor. Now we have all of the wall trims and stuff down. We can actually start with like the TV. Should I use this? I always like to use it when there's like a perfect four space for it. And oh my gosh, this is going to be so cool because I always like putting books. And then we can get some mini baby little plants and put them in here. The purple plants don't actually look that weird. I'd say this room actually looks probably the most normal. And I feel like this is giving me like movie theater vibes. So I'm going to make a sofa that reflects that. And wow, that is one big sofa. I'm actually kind of liking the purple room. We are going to have to get a really big coffee table in here though. And I wonder, can you actually color these magazines I've just placed down? <gasps> you actually can. And over here, I'm going to make use of another oven. And I'm going to put that on both sides. So it's like double oven. That's because we're going to make like a mini library. So let me fill up this bookcase and I'm actually facing the books the other way because technically they're still purple, but this way they just look a little bit more aesthetic. Anyway, the reason I did that is because I want this to be like a little reading area. And actually what could add some detail to these rooms is maybe using some pillows. And we'll even add this little blanket folding over the arm just to be extra detailed. And we basically have like two or three living rooms in this one area, but I'm actually digging it. So now we have the office, which I've just realized <laughs> we've basically just made it so there's no way in. That's okay if we just move everything up a bit. So let's see what color the office is going to be. Um, I'm hoping this isn't actually white because I want a bedroom to be white. <gasps> what? That wheel is making a fool out of me. So I'm allowing myself to use very light shades of gray. Then we can have this floor. Oh my gosh, guys, in this one room, we can feel like we're normal again. So the first thing that I'm obviously going to add is a desk. And we'll add this big chair for whoever lives in this insane house. <gasps> oh my gosh, I just caught a glimpse of it. It literally looks like craziness out there. We added a phone so you can ring all your pals. And I want some bookshelves. And then we can actually use that table we were going to use earlier to make like this little meeting area. And these plants that I used out here, I actually really like them. So we can put them in here, obviously, change the color. And I'm going to add a modern fan in here. And for once, we don't have to change the color. And I'm thinking over on this wall, we can have maybe like a pin board. But yeah, that is the white room done. So now we just have two bedrooms and a bathroom. So I think this should be the bathroom here because it has such a small window. And the color of the bathroom is going to be be yellow. I feel like I can make this work. And I feel like yellow is actually kind of one of the most aesthetic colors. But I'm going to look up tiles and yes, these are the bricks I want. I'm actually quite excited for this room. So I'm pretty sure there's a bathtub. Yeah, that's literally already yellow. We can actually add one of these above it. I'm going to move the door over a bit so that we can have a nice big sink unit along here. Let's see what shades of yellow we can use for this sink. Oh, like a golden yellow. I like that a lot. Anyway, we'll get quite a modern looking toilet. And this literally looks like a golden toilet that would cost millions. And under here, it's actually perfect for some of these storage boxes. And it literally looks like someone slipped over with a gold paint bucket in here. But yeah, I don't think this looks too bad for the bathroom. Now we have two bedrooms left to do. I'm going to do the big one first. And I'm hoping that we get blue for the big one. We got pink. Anyway, pink is actually another really nice color. So at first, I wanted to use these vibrant pink walls. But I'm thinking seashell is still pink. But it looks much more natural. And then maybe we can basically just make this into like a blush princess bedroom. So we'll give it like a really nice bed. And that bed actually looks really comfortable, not gonna lie. And I might make this one wall a little feature wall. And right at the end, we're gonna have a desk. And we can have this chair, which will also make a subtle shade of pink. 
And now we need to add the closet in. So we'll get this stylish closet. And oh my gosh, this literally looks like some sort of spoiled princess would live here. Random detail, but I'm going to add some plants to it as well. This might actually be my favorite room instead. And then this is giving me the kind of room that would have toys in it. So I'm going to add a little heart mat. And then we can add a bunch of toys in here on the floor, make like a little play area. And I'm going to use a couple of these shelves. Basically just put some more of these toys in. And last but not least, we have this tiny little room at the back. So the only color that was left on the wheel was blue. Yeah, again, this is actually probably quite a normal color wall because I'm not using these crazy like toothpaste blue. I'm just trying to make it aesthetic. And oh my gosh, I've just realized these two rooms look like a gender reveal. Most random thing ever, but kind of does. Anyway, we should probably get back to our little modern theme. We're going to give these guys a wardrobe instead of a pretty pink closet. I'm also going to give this room a blue feature wall and obviously its own little desk. And as usual, we'll finish this room off with a little carpet. And that is this house complete. Now, if we turn Turn around from the front it doesn't actually look too weird because we got kind of normal colors for the front if we fly around the back to get a sneak peek that is where it starts looking crazy so the first room is obviously orange the entryway if we go right we have a very normal room and this looks like it could be in one of my regular houses if we go straight forward we have probably my favorite room which is the purple room like i could actually live here through this way is where we have the dining room and kitchen the dining room's nice enough but the kitchen is actually pretty cool I love the color mint green, but it feels like this room kind of fits me perfectly. And then upstairs, we have another orange corridor. The first room is a blue bedroom. And oh my gosh, this is so vibey in here. This one's actually really nice. Oh my gosh, throw party. I mean, this house does look like a disco floor. Anyway, the next room is another bedroom. And this is again, really nice actually. We have like a pink closet area, desk area, and then like a little play zone and the bed. And then finally, we have the bathroom, which is pretty nice. This is one of the more simpler rooms. It catches the golden sunlight. And this way you can come and wash your face. But there we have it, guys. That was me building a house where every room was a different color. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching this. And I'll see you all next time.